Hey, this is Markham Caliban, and I'm here with Rob from Front Row Life. All right, Mark, what's up, man? Congratulations with the new release. Uh, talk to me a little bit about this uh, new reimagined record, uh, just because I feel um, I feel like it might be harder to recreate songs to a different language, um, as well as kind of still giving them that same kind of vibe and life that they had on the original version. So when re recreating these tracks for the new record, uh, Zeitgeister, what was that experience like for you guys? Um, yeah, like like you guessed, it was harder than writing a new album, like a fully new album, you know, because um, um, we were not really sure how to approach this within the band. You know, some had different ideas how to approach this and uh, some said, oh, we should just do like record the songs how they are, just translate the, vo the vocals. That also didn't work because um, that wouldn't be enough creativity for me just to re-record there was no point for me and also the lyrics didn't work out to just translate them because they have different phrases they're longer shorter sentences they all the patterns didn't fit at all and um then we in a long in a very long process we switched to that we actually took some bits and pieces from the old songs like like a melody line or some rhythm patterns or something like this and then the rest we completely recreated and um yeah the lyrics just have the same topic but they're also rewritten you know they just mean the same but without really translating them and uh, that was important for me like the musical part was important for me to to create something new without losing the old kind of idea of the songs and also i think for what do you need a 20 year old song re-recorded now because they had their charm back in the days they sounded like they were supposed to sound somehow and i think also the songs from like 15 years ago 20 years ago they sound with the modern recording technology also not as good probably they would it wouldn't really fit you know and um and uh especially since over all these years we changed our music a bit progressed a bit and then it's like a huge step back and i think uh that fans from nowadays could can't really deal with they don't know what they don't know this kind of music from the past you know there's nothing interesting for them probably and then the people who actually come are still there from the past they would bitch about it because it's not not old school enough you know so we went away and completely changed everything and as far as changing everything, um, how, what kind of impact did, you know, for you, for example, like changing up the guitar lines a little bit, what kind of impact did that have on, on, on the vocals and, uh, and vice versa? What kind of impact did new vocal ranges for this uh, German songs have on the guitar and the drums? Um, we made, I created with our producer together, the instrumental, um, instrumental part first. You know, and then mm -hmm. we focused on the lyrics. Like, we completely arranged the songs how they were supposed to be, like, until we were happy with them. And uh, then they were going on the vocals, you know. Then there's, here's the song, here's your topic, start writing. You know, so that was, for, for I think, for our singer, it was, for the vocals, for the lyrics, it was easier because that was somehow, like, also just writing a new song and not just keeping in mind. He just had to keep in mind the topic somehow you know and uh, and write something on top of the new music so that wasn't too hard you know but the rest yeah the rest just took longer and working with benny um for as as the production goes because you guys have worked with him for so long on on various records before so how different was it this time around with benny and how did how do you feel like he helped get uh each member of the band challenged or to step out of their comfort zone for this release um actually it there was no it wasn't really different than to the past records you know hmm. i mean um usually benny is there he is uh taking part of the yeah just creating with me the i i, I have my song idea and uh, he is like helping me to de develop them in the best possible way and then and uh 
we always did that over the internet in the past also not always over the internet but sometimes you know because it's a longer distance and um the rest of the band of course they throw in their ideas but uh it's it's re usually that like i create i'm sitting in my studio right now actually where i wrote the songs and also recorded and mixed the songs and uh I always have like a, like a demo version of the song ready, send it out to the guys, and then they give me some notes. Let's call it like that. You know, they say what they sh would maybe change a bit and stuff like that. And um, and then um, Andy was our singer was going to Berlin to meet our our producer, and um, that is usually a part. I'm usually with them together there, and because of this stuff i was not able because of the restrictions and stuff so we had to do this over the internet that was a bit annoying you know because when i'm writing a song i have sometimes certain patterns of vocals melody lines and all that kind of things in mind and um and i couldn't really be there to to uh, tell them somehow so they were doing something i was there on on like for discord or zoom or whatever and then told them yeah, what I like, what I don't like, that what I would change and stuff. That was a bit difficult at these times, but the rest was uh, the rest was just as usual. Also, you know, because we live very far from each other. You know, more yeah. like lots of us. Like the Andy from me lives four hours. The drama lives two hours, and the, wow. the only the other two guys live close. You know, wow. And I mean, I feel like it's the fact that we didn't have. Uh, I mean, there's absolutely no tours for the last year. Um, so I feel like a lot of bands need that tour aspect when writing or recording new material just because, you know, they have that live mentality in mind. Did you feel like that affected you guys when you were recording for this release? Not at all. <laughs> Unfortunately, not at all, because... It has been this way since ages already, like mm. the same way I like we wrote. I think the last four records were done this way, pretty much 95% the same way, you know. Um, we always tour for a year with the new album and stuff like that. And then it gets quiet, you know, we don't play, we don't tour. And I sit in my studio, write the songs and we send stuff back and forth and stuff like that. That is really the same. Pretty much, you know. Usually, when we are, when I'm writing an album, we don't play shows much in between, and we don't tour, don't do tours and stuff like that. So, so actually, it has been the same. There's no change for us. I mean, we actually have been just more creative somehow because we have another album ready. Um, so that is maybe for our international fans, may probably interesting. So don't worry, the next album will be not German. <laughs> The next new album the new album with the real new songs it's gonna be 10 12 tracks it's also ready um i just have to mix it it's all done recording that will be in english so don't worry with this upcoming album will benny also be part of the production team or will you guys be jumping in with a different producer for the release or for um, the record i did again like um like i did it on the previous record on elements mm. the instrumental part i did the main part of the instrumental production I did with Callan Orr. He's from Dream on Dreamer, the guitar mm -hmm. player. And Andy is sticking with Benny. So, I mean, of course, Benny afterwards is going over the very last details of the songs. But the the rough producing production is uh, between me and Callan. And then in the end, fine tuning, I do again with Benny. It's just because I'm so used to it and also because he's doing the vocals. So it's good to have him to really finalize the tracks, you know. And um, I do a lot also by myself. I mean, I just don't like, I produce other bands, but it's not the same producing your own band. I don't like that, you know. So um, I always like to have someone else listening over my, our songs, you know. So um this is why I ch this time I chose. I mean, on elements and also on the new album. Not on not on the Zeitgeist, but on the new album. I was working a lot with Callan again because he's also a guitar player and he has great ideas. We like like it's it's really there's a really good working flow when I'm working with him on songs, you know. And um, um, 
yeah so i like that but benny is definitely be a big part again he did all the vocal production and also finalizing like i said do you feel like making this uh release right now this german release do you feel like it impacted this upcoming album in any way uh maybe just new ideas fresh new takes uh new vocalizations yeah definitely um uh, actually by coincidence because we actually started writing the new album and the zeitgeister was supposed to be an let's call it like an add-on to the new album the new album was supposed to be out already in october okay. november but because we came to war we can't play shows and stuff like that we pushed it back the release and, and then we were talking about if we should push back Zeitgeister 2. And then we thought, whatever, it's way too long that we haven't been releasing anything. So we, we stick to the plan with the EP and release just the album later, probably around, I don't know, around, between November and March next year. So, so in, in eight, to te, 8 to 12 months from now, I would say, it's hard to say, you know, when we are able to tour and stuff. So then we actually stopped writing on the new album and went on with the zeitgeist there and then how it affected the new album is because i was going through so many old tracks and uh, how we were writing in the past and stuff like this so it somehow the new album has also a bit of an old school touch to it because i was listening so much to the all old records from us to find the tracks for zeitgeist there and working on that so they have a bit of an impact. I think the new album, of course, it's not completely different. You will hear the Gravity Times and or the, the I'm Nemesis Times or the also the the, the uh, Elements Times, but you also I think can hear the very beginnings of Caliban because they have an impact on the on the roughness, the brutalness. Somehow, it's not so atmospheric like Elements than the upcoming one later on. It's a bit more heavy on the heavy part. And a rough part, which is definitely, yeah, due to the Zeitgeister, to the older tracks, you know. So, because I was going, after Zeitgeister was finished, I was going back to finish the album. And then I changed a lot of things in the upcoming album. That must be awesome, just being able to go back to your material. Because I feel like a lot of artists, especially when they have so much material already out and so many years of experience... I feel like you forget about certain songs that you don't usually play live or you forget yeah. those moments on how you wrote certain songs. Um, so it's kind of cool that you got that reimagined kind of feel as you're getting ready for a new record. Um, now, as far as like this new material, I've noticed that you guys tend to have at least one German song in every record. Yeah. Um, what was the idea behind that in the first place? And how how different is writing that one german song on every record as, as opposed to like the rest of the material that's usually on the record um it's the idea started we always had the idea to have like a couple of german tracks you know but andy was always against it he said i sound stupid in german i don't want to do it and stuff like that and then we did that cover song from rammstein sonne and they obviously had to sing German. And we was like, what are you talking about? It sounds great in German, you, you know? And um, from that moment on, we really pushed that we do a couple things, at least in German, you know? After the Rammstein song, he did a song which was half German, half English. And then on the upcoming album after that, it was fully German. I think it is harder. I don't think it's harder with the patterns. And we usually chose a song which has some kind of edginess to it. I don't know how, because the German lyrics fit with this kind of edgy things, but um, it's harder to find to find the right words, I think, than in English, because in, at least to my ear and probably to the rest of the band, um, German lyrics tend very quick to sound somehow cringe, cheesy somehow, you know, like, and uh, you can't use certain words when you just translate which which sounds great in english and then you translate it's like oh no you can you really can't say that this way you know it sounds very cheesy and i think this is the biggest challenge to have it um this is at least what also he tells me you know or he told us that it is always kind of difficult to not drift into this cheesiness you know 
I think for the rest, I think it's probably probably pretty easy for him. For at least the pronunciation and all that kind of things is obviously easier for him. But uh, um, yeah, writing is not that easy. I think so. Definitely, they don't. Uh, the words don't translate exactly the same. No, usually not. I mean, <laughs> I mean, some do, but then they, they they sound stupid in German or something. You would never <laughs> say that. Like, you would not go on, go outside and say that this way, you know, like, and right. then, uh, and then you have to find like really, I don't know how to say that. I don't want to say artistic words because that's also not true, but um, you have to more sometimes describe things instead of straight away naming them somehow. Mm. That it sounds a bit more and more somehow better in German. I don't know how, to, how right. else to say that. <laughs> and, and, and the idea was born because we got asked in a radio interview many years ago why we don't do a full album in German, you know? And we'd be like sitting there and like, why not actually? And then, you know, and then, uh, and then we decided that it has to be some kind of special because we don't want to push away our, our like, all our fans because we have a lot of fans which are not speaking German. And um, I think it's weird to start off writing like eight, nine, ten albums in English and then suddenly be German, you know, that's not, yeah. <laughs> that's not it wouldn't work, you know. So we wanted this as a special. I mean, and then the guy said, oh, but Rammstein does it. And we were like, yeah, but Rammstein started in German. They didn't switch yeah, to German. It's you know? different, People yeah. Them, got, them, got to know them in German. That is different. So, and... I think in general we like, I don't want to say we like the English better, but I think for, as a band, I think that fits somehow better to us, you know. I mean, the German has a certain feel to it, and it sounds aggressive, probably, and mean in some way, that this is what some people say, and, um, but in general we, was, we want to stick to English, you know. For me, personally, I first heard of the band, uh, because of Netflix is uh, dead to me with Christina Applegate, um, because she kept uh, she kept playing Paralyzed, your 2016 release. So, uh, for you guys personally, what kind? Of, how did that opportunity happen, and what kind of impact did that have towards the band? Once uh, you know, we got to listen to your song Paralyzed in a major platform like like Netflix. Um, it happened actually that Netflix wrote us. <laughs> wow like, yeah, yeah um and it was somehow weird i wake up in some morning and was f opening our instagram and there was a message from netflix i think it was a twitter or netflix uh, internet i think it was instagram and i was like what that must be must be some spam or something <laughs> but then we were actually going like through it and it actually happened that somehow netflix america contacted century media records america and they didn't get the mail or didn't see the mail or it got to the wrong person yeah. and then netflix didn't get an answer and then they reached out to us straight away say hello we want to use your song nobody's answering you know <laughs> and uh, and um yeah and then we contacted our record company in germany and said hey what is going on there you know we got contacted by netflix and uh they want to use that song and it, at that point it wasn't sure how often they want to use it and how they want to use it they wanted to just uh, have like to make some agreement the, the, the yeah the permission to use it and stuff like that and uh, i don't know if it had an impact i think in germany it did or mainly in europe it didn't have really an impact it didn't change anything for us it's not like that we got more or less popular because of this here um I don't know about the states. I mean, you have been in. It has been very long since we have been in the states. I don't know if that one song in that one show was making an impact for us in the states. I can't tell. For us, it was really cool because I, uh, in my very very young teenager years, I was listening. I was watching the show, you know, with with Kelly Bundy, of course, you know, and everybody knows that. And then she's sitting later on in the car and list, uh, singing our song. That was really cool. Yeah, I feel like that that was such a I mean, especially because you haven't been in the States for some time. I feel like that was a great way to kind of be like, hey, we're 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 a German band. Check us out. <laughs> but like it was. It, yeah, I love that uh, the song almost was almost a character. It wasn't just like some background noise because uh, Christina was actually having those moments where she's like 
focusing yeah. on your music. So that's really cool. I, I feel like not there a lot of artists actually, get that opportunity. For some time, they were actually thinking to use that song as a theme song throughout, throughout the whole season. Wow. But I think as far as I understood, for some reasons, I don't know, for, for agreement reasons with the Greco company or for some other reason, I have no idea, but they didn't end up doing that. Hmm. Um, but that would have been cool. Yeah. You know, like, to always have her when the, she has these moments, have this song, you know? Yeah. Uh, I don't know if they come back in the later season to this, but um, I know that it was in, like, in, in this May was like one time usage, five time usage, 10 time usage, was a lot of paragraphs and all that. <laughs> like, what? I have no idea. Yeah, yeah. Whatever. Too much legal stuff. <laughs> yeah. yeah. <laughs> that's awesome man. well congratulations with with that opportunity and uh congratulations with the new release and uh, very much looking forward to uh to when you know live shows happen again just because I, I i have yet to see your band live and i look forward to seeing that here in, in in the states yeah we definitely plan on coming back when at least at latest when the new album the english album is out <laughs> you know like uh, end of this year, beginning next year, something when this is out and touring is without any problem possible, we definitely want to try to come back there. Has been right. a while, five, six years or something. Yeah, that's a long time. Yeah. <laughs>